Alan and Cheryl Van Dyke is scheduled to be released on February 3rd after serving a little less than three years and four months behind bars. And based on the terms of his parole, he is expected to return to the Chicago area. Currently in isolation at an undisclosed out of state prison, Jason Van Dyke is less than three weeks from freedom. It's a shame that uh, Jason Van Dyke has a uh, a date that he can be paroled and Laquan McDonald can never uh, have another birthday. Van Dyke was convicted of second degree murder and 16 counts of aggravated battery, one count for each shot that took the life of Laquan McDonald. When he's paroled February 3rd, Van Dyke will have served about half his sentence of six years and nine months. He wants to uh, have a quiet life. Jason doesn't want to be on the media. He doesn't want to have anybody covering him, I don't think. I can't speak for Jason. Um, but I know what kind of person he is, and I think he just wants to live his life. My prayer is that uh, Mr. Van Dyke comes out a different man than when he went in. The now 43-year-old has served most of his three-plus years out of state, at one point assaulted at a prison in Connecticut. But activist William Calloway, who helped make public the dash cam video of the shooting, says the former cop should remain behind bars. U.S. Attorney John Losh has the legal authority, and he has the moral obligation to foul federal civil rights charges on Jason Van Dyke. Messages left for the U.S. Attorney's Office were not returned. William Calloway is now calling on the transit unions to halt CTA services later this month in an effort to pressure the feds to file charges.